This is a very cheap ARM netbook you can find in the internet for around 50 euros. As you can see, it's Android based. Android is fine and runs well in this kind of devices, but I wanted to see GNU Linux running in this netbook, so I decided to install Arc Linux ARM. Let's power it off. Now we can insert the SD card with Arc Linux ARM and power the device on. Now it's loading the Linux kernel and booting the system. Boot time is good, less than 40 seconds. Not bad for an 800 MHz ARM CPU with 256 MB of memory. I'm also using a class 4 SD card. Maybe a class 10 card could make it boot faster. I have installed a base at Linux ARM system with only some utilities. Ok. Now we have the login manager greeting us. Let's log in. And now we will be able to see the LXDE desktop. Let's launch a, a terminal and power the Wi-Fi chip. Okay. Now Wi-Fi is on and in a few seconds we should be able to connect to Wi-Fi networks. Okay, now it's connected. To surf the internet, I have installed two browsers with a, a low memory footprint, Lynx and Midori. Although Lynx can display images, it's almost text-based. Let's, for example, load a web, a web page. And this is how our Linux ARM web page is displayed using Lynx browser. As you can see, browser is fast, it's very fast, and it's very a very low amount of memory. You can browse without problems. But if you want to display complex pages, this browser will not be enough. So let's exit and try Midori. Midori is a full featured web browser, but it's less memory than Chromium and Firefox. Let's go to the same web page. To see the difference. We can switch full screen. To save more space in, in this small screen. And you can see 
page rendering is as it should be and uh, the same you would be see with a uh, with uh, Chromium or Firefox ok let's close it what else can you do with this netbook? you can uh, listen to music you can uh, read PDF documents, write text documents, you can code, you can connect to the to the IRC to chat with friends, you can install PicDin and and chat using Google Talk or MSN protocol etc. It's a nice nice device for its price. Not it's not the fastest PC you can find, but runs and runs well. Okay, this is all. Thanks for watching.